everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I have a new hairdo style to show you today. This one's called Flirty Fringe Bob in the color R1488 SS. Um, I actually had the chance to do some modeling for this wig back in 2020, so I'm really happy to know that it's now available in regular online retail. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you expand the description box below the video, I will attach a link directly to this style. You can go out to look at the color options and the pricing. Hairdo styles seem to be very affordable and very wearable for most people. We do invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. There's also a telephone number. I'll place it below. If you want to leave a message, they'll call you right back. And also a live chat feature. If you scroll down from any product page on the site, hit the help button. It will give the option of connecting with a live chat feature. Flirty Fringe Bob by Hairdo um, is a short, modern textured, layered bob style with a fringe bang. I think it's wearable and affordable. I have it here in the color R1488 SS, uh, shaded golden wheat. And this color is a very light, warm blonde. So you'll find some medium gold blondes and some pale gold blondes and all of that on a medium gold brown root. You can see the rooting from all aspects of the wig. Now color, the blondes especially, are going to appear a little bit lighter and brighter here in front of the camera because of the lights and so forth. And I will give you an outside look as well. So this is an affordable kind of a no fuss, shake and go, cute little bob style. And that front piece is about four and a half inches as it comes off of the cap. Now that is a trouble spot for my dimensions because I'm around three to three and a half between from the bottom of my hairline to my eyebrow. So that four and a half just kind of wants to swoop right in the eye. So in that case, I have some options. What I did in this case is I pulled the cap back beyond my natural hairline so that the fringe would not get in the eyes. That's one option. You could always cut and trim this bang as well. And I think if, if, if I had to wear this every single day, I probably would do just that. I would go in and do a little bit of a dirty cut all the way across. And the other thing you can do is just use some styling or sweep it from one side or the other just to make, make it scoot right above the eyebrow and stay out of the eyes. But it's really well done in terms of its density because it's kind of a dirty cut, meaning it's a notch cut all the way across. It's been layered and taken down so that it's not a heavy, thick bang. Um, so I find that in that way, it's very wispy and easy to work with. I think the length is perfect. It's about eight inches from the crown down and then you've got a three inch nape. There's a little bit of textures and layers back there giving it a slight beveling effect. Overall, it's about nine inches long. You have some layers here on the sides that kind of want to sweep in and frame the face, kind of carry through the bang area to frame the face. I think this would be very flattering for a lot of different face shapes. The style weighs just over three ounces, so it's really lightweight, and it features one of the open cap designs by Hair You Wear. Hair You Wear is a brand that's very affordable and wearable. They feature lots of shake and go styles. Typically, they're either traditional or open cap styles. So this one is an open cap style. It seems very light and cool and airy. So here's a word of caution on this cap. And this has been true with all of the hairdo styles that I have explored over the past couple of years. They seem to be very large on me. I'm a 21 and an inch, uh, 21 and a quarter inch circumference all the way around. I've had to crisscross and fold this cap in in order for it not to roll around. It's very, very large on me. I have no way of measuring it for um, a large circumference, but I would say it's more apt to fit a large circumference than it would be for a petite, so just be aware. And I could probably fit my entire fist um, in the space left between my scalp and the, the cap. It's very baggy. There's a lot of extra room up there. Um, this fits me very much like the Tony Bratton styles. Um, in terms of just general cap fit. We're all different. We have different dimensions. 
Um, I happen to be petite all the way around and front to back and ear to ear, and so these do run a little bit large on me. And just like all the other styles in that hairdo line, this is made from the True to Life fiber, uh, which is heat friendly. So you'll be able to do, put some curl in, uh, just tweak it however you would like with a little bit of heat without worrying about damaging it. Now, one thing I do to all my hairdo styles is I wake them up with some pulses of heat. So I'll shake it out really well and I'll swirl around to unleash it. But sometimes these fibers appear to be a little bit gummy and they kind of stick together. In order to get a nice wispy look and appeal, I'll just take a, a hair dryer on, on low heat setting and just give some pulses of air to just all the way around, just to wake it up and make it look a little more wispy. I think it works, works especially well with some of these razored ends and layers. It's a very light density. Most of the hairdo styles that I have explored, especially the ones that are this length or shorter, are very, very light density. So they're perfect for warmer weather months or climates. They're very breathable for sure. And they seem to be very comfortable on, although sometimes when I have to make extreme adjustments, I do feel a little insecure um, in such a large cap. And for the most part with the hairdo styles, um, there's a light amount of permatees in them, especially again, those short, uh, the short to ultra short ones, very, very light density and low, low permatees. Here's an inside look at the cap for Hairdo's Flirty Fringe Bob. It's an open cap style design. You have a nice velvet piece there in the front. It's very comfortable. It has a hidden weft right there to help obscure the hairline. Then you've got your open wefts on top. It's very comfortable and breathable. Lots of wefting throughout the style. Uh, you have an open wefted ear tab with nice sturdy stays. The coverage is really good on me. And then you have an extended open nape with Velcro style adjusters. And you notice how I had to crisscross the adjusters just to get a secure fit for a petite average circumference. So it's a great day to be alive and be able to explore and enjoy wigs. So it's a great day for my rose colored glasses here by readers.com. I'll put the links below. I always love to show my readers because they come in such beautiful fashion uh, designs, don't they? I mean, they have tons and tons of designs. They're the biggest online retailer of reader glasses in the United States, and you would not believe the options. Use the code TAS35 for 35% off of your order at readers.com. I'll put all of the links below. They come in lots of magnification powers. You're sure to find one that works for you. And it's so hard to just choose one pair. <laughs> I have these stuffed all around my house, in my car, in my bag. They are everywhere and I love them. I think these fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab of this style. There's no permatease or heavy densities there, so works super well with glasses. So I'm just going to work and manipulate this hair a little bit so you can get a sense of the light density and texture. If you like to style your hair behind the ear, this will be spectacular. I think you're really going to like the overall look and appearance of this new hairdo style. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.